Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited for today's video because I was just sitting here thinking, what have we not drawn yet? And we haven't drawn any buildings. I was surprised to see that we didn't draw any buildings yet. So I was like, okay, well, what kind of building would be fun to draw with you guys? I was thinking of something that would be creative, something we could use our imagination on, something that could be full of color. And then I thought of it. We're gonna be drawing a castle today. Castles are awesome. They're all over the world. They come in all different shapes, sizes, colors. So this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. So before we get started though, we need to make sure we have all the right tools to get started and then uh, we'll get going. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. We're gonna need a pencil to sketch with. We always do a sketch first and then we go over that sketch with an outline with a dark marker or a pen. But when we do that, there's gonna be a sketch layer left underneath there that we need to get rid of before we get coloring. So make sure you have an eraser of some type. And then if you would like, you can bring in a ruler. If you wanna have some straight lines on your castle walls and towers, that would be really, really handy to have, but you don't need one. If you have like a book you wanna use, or if you just wanna freehand it, that's fine too. And then at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. So make sure you have some tool, uh, some coloring tool available to you. So maybe it's a watercolor, maybe it's paint or crayons, <laughs> all of it's good. Like I said, there's lots of different types of castles from all over the world and all different time periods, but the one that I wanna do is more of a European medieval castle. That's probably one you're most familiar with, with like kings and queens, and then you have knights in shining armor, all of that scene, that's happening in a medieval European style castle. So we're gonna do that kind today. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so let's get started on our sketch. All right here. So I'm actually gonna use my ruler right away and draw kind of a baseline for the bottom of my castle. Just so I know where the very, very bottom is, make my life a little easier. So just draw a straight line there at the bottom. Now, these castles, even though it's a medieval European style castle, there's lots of different shapes and sizes within that, but they all kind of have um, the same parts to them. Like they have the big walls, long walls called ramparts. They have towers, they have uh, big gates in the front. And so, uh, we'll just take parts of that. So the, the first thing then is probably the gate. That's the number one thing that we have to do. How do you get in our castle? So let's start with a big gate in the front. So what we'll do is we'll start with maybe a, a line going straight down here, and then another one maybe right over here. There we go, I'm trying to center it as best I can. And then I'm gonna draw another line to about here and another line to about here. And what that's for is that's gonna be the sides of our rounded doorway here for that giant gate. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do one more of those inside here. Just follow the exact same one that you did, just a little bit smaller. Ooh, getting a little, getting a little wonky. That's okay, this is the sketch time and we'll put that on side there. And there will be our, our door. If you wanna see that door, maybe we'll just put a line right down the middle. And then we can draw another line and another line. We get a big wood door. There we go. Awesome, okay. So this part is your gate and a lot of times they were in a place called a gate house. So there's like a little spot that would kind of jut off the front of your castle. All right, so for the top of this, you might wanna show that little cool pattern that they have like the cool rock work that they have at the top of castles that you're probably familiar with that kind of go like this. You know what I mean? And we'll erase this. They look, they look like that. So if we want to do that, I usually just draw the straight line first and then I erase what I don't want to do on there. So if I want to just have three of these, I'll just draw my three little boxes in here like that. But see, that's kind of off. So maybe I'll move this all over and you can keep messing with it, but draw your three little boxes in there. And then you can erase the part that you don't want on there. And there you go. Oh, that guy got a little bit wonky, a little bit small. <laughs> so I can go in and fix that. But then you have your little, little tops of your, your rock work on the top of our gatehouse, which is this part. And then let's start building out more pieces. Let's maybe build out little towers next to here because that's what they're gonna be using to protect everything inside. That's why they have these big walls on here it's because they're trying to keep bad guys out. People who want to take over their castle and steal all their stuff. So let's go ahead and maybe do another line right here. If 
for these little towers on the side. This might be for the guards. They can see what's going on and see who's coming up to the castle. And we'll do the same rock work on those, but let's do it flat on the top first. And then we'll kind of figure out, maybe we'll do two little squares in there. Do another one right over here. There we go. And then of course, like I said, we'll just erase that little bit right there. Makes it a whole lot easier than trying to just freehand. We'll add more details on here, maybe little windows and things. But uh, so we got our little towers here, our little, uh, or turrets maybe even. And then we'll have our gatehouse. And let's see, what else do we have on a castle? We do have the, the walls. So maybe you want to make a, a wall over here that connects to some more towers on the outside. I think I'm just going to go straight into another tower in the background. So I'll go out here and I'll draw another line straight down. Now again, if you want those to be really straight, <laughs> use a ruler or something. Right now I'm just sketching, so maybe I don't want to do that. I'll draw the same thing on the opposite side. This is basically, it's gonna be a very symmetrical piece of art. That means if you cut it in half, it's gonna be the same on both sides, which sometimes can be hard to make things look symmetrical because you have to do the same thing twice <laughs> and make it look exactly the same. All right, so let's erase some of that stuff. Now again, this is how I'm drawing a castle. You can draw a castle however you want, but now you'll know what the parts of a castle are so that you can make your own. And that's why I like to research different things that I'm drawing so that I know if I want to make, if I want to, you know, do my own creative version of it, then uh, I just kind of need to know what the parts are and then I can mess, mess with them however I want. And, uh, and that's kind of the cool part about learning about something before you draw it. Or in our case, as you're drawing it. All right, let's do little tops on here. Alrighty, so now what let's do, we got these little towers on the side. Let's give them tops. These ones are gonna have tops because maybe people live in these or who knows what they have a top for. <laughs> maybe that's where the guards hang out and they want a little roof on top of them. So let's draw on that line underneath, make it go out a little bit further. And then we'll do a little, kind of a diagonal line. It's gonna go out a little bit like that. Another one over here. Another one over there. And then maybe a little bit higher. And then we'll draw a straight line across those. So the top is just a little bit bigger than the base. Cool. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to go up here and draw a little point on both of these. That way I know and draw it right in the center so I know where the two points are going to meet up because I want to draw a triangle for the roof. There we are. Straight down over here. Uh, okay, so now we gotta go ahead and, well, we'll add more details there in a little bit. Let's keep adding the different parts of our castle. So we got some more towers, maybe some turrets, a, a, a little uh, bridge, or not bridge house, a gatehouse that we have in the middle. Maybe let's draw the main part inside there and then this is called the keep. And this is typically where the royalty would stay somewhere right in the middle of this place of the castle wall within the castle walls and it was kind of your last resort most well protected part of the castle and that's why a lot of times royalty would live in that part we'll draw a line right across here so maybe your king and queen would live in here and then probably put some of their treasures in this part as well so just in case someone did break into the castle they had another place fortified and strong right in the middle of it that they could they could hide or, or hold their ground. There we are. Okay, let's erase that those lines in the middle there. We don't need those ones. You can clean up things as you go. That helps out a lot when you're working. So at the end, you don't forget what parts you wanted to erase. And then from there, from that point that you already had, oh wait, let's put the... Let's do this again. We'll add a little dot in the middle again. So instead of going straight to the corners, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit, maybe to this line right here. I'm gonna go down and leave a little bit overhanging there. And you'll see why I wanna do that in just a minute. Okay, so now that we have those on there, maybe we'll add some more triangles 
that we can have for the flags. We'll have some flags on the top. All right, so we'll do the one flag. Just do a triangle on the top of there for a flag. I mean, you could even put a little, little circle on the top if you want it on there. We'll do some smaller flags right here. We'll make that one be the biggest at the top. Do a couple more triangles. And we got the tops of it. Um, maybe we do some more, uh, maybe we do some more back in here. Cause I feel like a little empty back here. Maybe there's more towers. I'm not really sure what these towers would be used for, but now I'm just using my imagination. I think it would just be fun to see some tall, skinny towers in the background. How about that? There we go. Maybe I'll do, I'll kind of stop it right there. I'll put a little dot right there so we can kind of make another triangle. I'll erase it. That's a fun little tower in the back. Maybe we'll do another one on this side. Yeah, that's fun. And you can add as many as you want. All right, so we got the bones of our castle. Let's start adding some fun little details in here. Like, maybe we'll add some windows here and there. I'm gonna actually add a rooftop at the top of this thing. Maybe we'll do like a little line right here. And that'll be kind of a slanted roof and then we'll have some windows up here at the top. I'm gonna draw one like rectangle right here. Now, this is where you really get to use your imagination and just play around. Add whatever you want on here. Draw some, I'm gonna draw some rectangles here for my windows. That looks pretty cool. Oh, on the tops of these, I was gonna do something with, I was gonna do the same thing we did here, that kind of rock work. I'm gonna do it right over here. So maybe add the corner, do the same thing over here, and maybe two more. There we are. And then I'll just erase those little bits there we go. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. One. It's kind of easier to draw the ones on the sides first and then just draw or one in the middle and, and then the two over there. Either way, it helps you just try to do, I try to do an even amount on here. And sometimes that can be kind of hard if I'm just going in a row. So sometimes I'll do either side or do one in the middle and then I'll do one on either side of that. Maybe some lines on here so we have some more opportunities to color in some fun shapes. What else? Oh, they do have lots of different little windows. Now they didn't have window windows, like glass in them, but they would have kind of like holes at the, that they could look out of uh, on these ones on the outside. I'm sure some of them had glass, but a lot of times they were out there, especially on these ones out here where they would have on the outer wall that was built for defense to stop other people from coming up there. If they didn't want them there and they wanted to shoot arrows outside, then they would have these little things called uh, little slits, little arrow slits. It looked like this. And they'd have a little staircase that would go up there and then they could shoot their arrows out here but also be protected themselves as they shot arrows outside these towers at the bad guys. Oops, I was a little bit higher. There we are. And then we'll draw maybe a big rounded off one, big window up here. Kind of like our door, like a big gumdrop type of window. We'll do that on that side as well. We got, we got enough, I think we got enough windows on there. Maybe we'll do a couple windows over here too. They can see out the side. There. And then uh, I'm tempted to do some more like little bricks or something. Cause these are, the walls were made of stone. So it'd be kind of fun to show some of the stone work on there. Now this is really up to you. Maybe you want to do it with, uh, with your pencil or you can do it with the coloring. I think I might do some with the pencil to make it so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. It'd be kind of cool to draw some, some stone work on there. Just an idea. A lot of times you know, when we drew like fish scales or dragon scales, we didn't draw all of them, we just drew a few of them. That's kind of what I'm gonna do here. Just draw a few little rectangles here and there to get the idea that, oh yeah, this is, uh, this is made of stone. And the last thing I wanna do on here is probably add two things. Okay, not the last thing. So two things. I want to add some bushes, and I want to do some little, um, some little pattern here on the roof. Maybe you do roof shingles. Maybe you just do lines. I might just kind of do little waves right here. Leave me some opportunities to, to color it in, like that. 
We'll try it again over here. So let's do like little waves, like water waves. Last ones. There we go. Awesome. And then we'll just do maybe some bushes. Maybe some bushes right here. Just to make it interesting. You maybe you can add trees over here. You can even add the water. They have a big moat here. But before we go into all that, let's just jump right into uh, starting our outline because I think that's the next most important part on this is to get this outline in so we can start coloring it. So I want to go ahead and start outlining these outer walls. So now that I'm outlining it, I don't think you need to necessarily watch me outline the entire thing. But I do want to tell you a few little cool facts about castles before uh, we jump right into the, the coloring. These walls that we're making right here, sometimes they were made of like six feet deep, or six feet thick, I should say, six feet deep. That is so big. I'm over six feet tall, so it's about as the size of me if I was to lay down. That's how thick the rock was on the outside. So it was really hard for people to come in and try to take out the walls to get inside the castle. It was really, really hard, especially since on the inside of those walls, they filled it with all sorts of like broken rock and things in the middle and then sealed it all up. So it made it even harder to get through. And the whole time on the towers, you had people trying to fight you on your way up. So it didn't make it easy for people trying to break into castles. And on that note, that's why a lot of them had the water that goes all the way around the castle and they call that a moat. So right here, you might want to draw some water and they would keep that so that it was hard for people to put ladders up against the wall or to charge their castle and take it over because you had to go through the water and that made it really difficult. And on these, on these, uh, these gatehouses, some of them even had things called drawbridges where the bridge would come up up here and then it would drop down over the moat, over the water and just be a bridge so that people can come in and out. And then when they didn't want people to come in, they'd pull that bridge back up so no one could get to the front door. That's a pretty smart invention. And it helped them keep them safe. Because a lot of times inside the castle were a lot of the people. They kept, that's where people lived, was in the middle of the castle. So they would have all the walls in a big square type of thing. And then inside the, the main part, people would live there. So they wanted to make sure they kept that really safe. And that's basically what a castle is, a big fortified building. It was made to keep things out. I'm gonna draw little, little details on here. Oh, the one thing I didn't do was draw these little lines on here. I think that might be kind of fun to show the stonework around the edge of your castle. And you can, do, you can do all sorts of little things. You can add whatever you want on your castle. And I'll just kind of go through here and, and uh, finish up my outlining. And then you can go ahead and do the same thing. And then once I'm done with my outline, I'm going to erase all the sketching and then jump straight into my colors. And then right after the colors, we'll catch up and uh, we'll chat about what we made. little thing to color in the last flag yeah <laughs> awesome our castle is finished I hope you guys had as much fun as I did making your own castle so I'm happy and hopefully you are too so let's go ahead and sign our name in the bottom right corner of our drawing so everybody knows and this is ours. All right, well, thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. It's been so much fun. We do this Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss one of our videos. And uh, if you enjoyed this one specifically, please drop it a like, that always helps. And before you go at the very, very end, remember we have a slideshow of some of your work. Your work could be in there. So if you've submitted your artwork at any point, there's a chance that yours could be at this final slideshow. I'm so proud of the work you guys sent in. It's so much fun to show off. So as always on the end of our Friday, Friday shows, 
we get to show off your work. So stick around for that. But before you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys.